Welcome back to the channel. Today we have Tim Rogers with us again, hey. and um, what he's going to provide for us today is some insight on the offer process itself and a little bit about the price and kind of what you should be thinking about from a from the buyer's perspective and really what's going through, I guess, kind of Tim's mind when he's helping the buyer think about the offer and how to work through it. So again, Tim will cover really three main topics for us today and we'll kind of work through each of those and allow Tim to just give us some insight. So uh, Tim, thanks again for coming to the channel. Yeah. And, uh, thanks for having me. Yep. Yeah. So talk to us about kind of that price itself and, and what are the things that really go through your mind as an agent? Okay, so the way this works on my end is you've done a great job up to this point of letting your viewers know, you know, how to study the market, right. learn the market, figure out where they really want to be yep. and, and find out what they want. And, and, and so they, they've got some data points on where the price is. Something hits the market that they like. Right. Yeah. Okay. And my email, text, phone call will ring about wanting to get in the property or wanting to quickly get my opinion on it. Right. right? So we see the price and um, it always comes down to price at the end of the day. I mean, there's many other things that have to align, but the price for the buyer and seller has to work. Correct. Um, so when this property hits, is it priced exactly where it should be selling for? Is it priced a little high? Right. Which is where we normally see things. We think there's a little room, but uh, your agent should be able to tell you, hey, don't get too excited, but these folks price this one to sell. Right. And, and that can happen. What you want to do with the price is if it's priced right and it's what you're looking for, take it to them. Right. You could try a little bit off, but you can't just presume that there's 5% on every offering. Some sellers will list it at a price they expect to sell it for because they don't want a bunch of showings and a bunch of people. They want the clean, right buyer for okay. their property so they have less brain damage. Right. Don't forget that. Okay. Um, and then, you know, if it's over and, and you can make your offer and you present it to them and you get a reply, don't you get offended at the number that comes back. Right. Because I think, you know, you've talked about before when you, when a buyer makes the offer, they've mentally bought the property. When the seller responds or counter offers, they've mentally sold the property. Right. Okay. So make sure you stay engaged. Right. Okay. Even if you don't like the initial reply, let's find out why we got that. Right. Okay. Okay. So that's the first one, really knowing the market right. itself. Right. Yep. Um, the second one that we have here is around not overthinking the market. Right. And yeah, that kind of got covered a minute ago, I guess. It really. If you see something come on and, it, and it's what you've been looking for and the neighborhood you've been looking for and the size you've been looking for, do it. Right. Take them something that solves their problem because that's what they're looking for. Right. Make sure it's real clean and easy. Mr. Seller, here. This is what you presented. This is what I'm giving you. And let me just ask one question uh, for the viewers. When you say something that's clean and something that's easy, what exactly does that mean for you as an agent? So you, you've got... You've got solid financing documentation. Right. Your inspections and your contingencies are straightforward and don't take a long time to complete. And they okay. all get done in, the, in a relatively easy time period. So the seller knows they get from contract, which is contingent, right. to certainty of close, which is you satisfying your contingencies. Right in a timely manner so they know they have a good closing coming and you've already presented upfront solid financeability. Right. And that's also kind of um, homework that a really good agent, which Tim will do this all the time, but a great agent up front will make sure that you, you come to an offer clean. Right. I, right. I, don't, I can't think of a time that we went to an offer that no. wasn't as clean as possible. No. I think we've, we've always gone saying, here's our number, here's everything we're willing to do. Here's when we can close by. Let's make it happen. Right. right. And that's why we, we're focused on the price today because there's three things that happen. There's, there's room to get off the seller's price, maybe the seller's price to, to sell. Right. And um, sometimes for whatever reason, it might be underpriced. Yeah. You know? Okay. 
and just don't overthink it. Okay. So again, that is kind of knowing the market, I believe was number one. Number yep. two was really don't overthink the market. And the last one I think you touched on a bit, but it's very similar to what I've had in some of the, the past videos, and that's around you know, kind of expecting a, an offer or expecting counter. a counter, I believe in this. But you know, your big thing here has always been uh, not to be upset or right. to not overreact or to overthink. Buyers have no problem putting a number on paper and don't think that how the seller is going to respond right. or how they're going to re receive that. They may not like your number. Right. So when they reply to you with a number you don't like, please put yourself in their initial shoes. Right. Yep. And the fact they've replied means they want to find a way to get together. Correct. Okay. So again, Tim, thanks for yeah, being thanks here. for having it's, me. It's always great to have kind of that insight from an agent's perspective um, instead of just my insight all the time. So again, know the market, don't overthink the market, and you know, just be ready for a response from the seller and to not overreact to that. Yeah. Okay. So again, thanks for coming, and we'll see you guys again next week. Very good.